Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Simranjit Kaurman here and I've got a really special collaboration today with a Magic Circle trainee, Taishan. As you can see, it's 6am. I'm in bed. I'm just about to wake up. You know those stretches where you are stretching really crazily and your body is spasming? That was the kind of stretch. I then move on to my skincare routine. It's 6 a.m. You know, I want to be productive today. I want to get the day off to the greatest start. I want to be on my A game. And to get to my A game, one thing that I do is I write my manifestations, my goals, my values, my ideals. I write all of these down because, you know, that's what everyone on TikTok does. And then I also do some breathing exercises, some meditation. Morning routine, mate. I don't know her. <laughs> I just wake up at 8.40, 8.30 if I'm lucky, 8.45 most of the time if I'm gonna count on average. <sighs> Can't lie, I was up late, so late last night. It's around 8.20, gonna go for this morning ride. This is what I tend to do. The sun's out, but it's not looking warm. It's just looking, you know what I mean? It looks bright. Anyway, let me go for this morning ride. That's gonna be my time for myself. We're gonna do the FT, gonna do a bit of music and come back in and let you know what my plan is for the morning and the rest of the day. I mean, Taishan, even though you woke up a little bit later because of a late night, I'm still in bed and I think you've definitely beat me here in terms of waking up earlier than I do. This is my manner. This is my trusty red bike. This is my manner. East London, Shoreditch. So yeah, basically what I tend to do as I said, around a 45 minute cycle, but it's 8.30, I got up so late with my flatmate just chatting till 2 a.m. So I'm gonna ride for like 20 minutes just because I just need to exercise. So for me, my mornings are genuinely my time to myself before it gets hectic. I've actually pushed it a bit today because I should've done a bit of work last night which I bombed for the morning. Then I got another email last night saying that there's something else I need to do in the morning. Long story short, two deadlines don't fit into one. So I'm gonna cut my ride short by about 20 minutes, do one quick lap, then head straight back to my bedroom and draw my work to be honest. Honestly, Taishan, I wish I had the same motivation to go out for a bike ride. I wake up by chucking my phone alarm. I quickly change and I think one of the perks of working from home is the fact that you can go casual so I wear joggers at the bottom as well and yep this is me in a Z mirror. Now I move on to making my breakfast and here I might show a little bit of a ASMA AM, a, can't say it ASMR yeah <laughs> Breakfast is all ready and the first thing I do is get my laptop out and I log in. Let me give you a bit of a background, a really brief background in terms of what I do. So I've just started my training contract. I am six weeks in and I'm in the construction disputes team. Taishan, I think we both forgot introductions, didn't we? Do you know what I realised guys? I actually realised I didn't give you a proper introduction in terms of what I do, who I am, None of that, like how rude of me. So let me start from the top. <laughs> My name is Tayshan Dwyer. I am a third seat training solicitor at a Magic Circle law firm. I am currently sitting in our corporate team and it's actually central corporate m &A team. And we focus on a lot of energy, infrastructure, venture capital, startups, ECM work. And my day, so I've been at the seat actually for, how long has it been? Let me see the calendar. 
just over a month and my day is tend or is usually structured around a couple of deals. At any one time you could be on maybe around three deals to six deals. Six is a lot in terms of like quality and quantity of what you're putting out, etc. Um, so the sweet spot is around four deals. I'm currently today working on three deals primarily. One is a tech deal, one is an energy deal, and the other one is, how do you describe it? Uh, printing deal, I guess I could say that. Printing deal or I guess a tech deal. Let's say two tech deals, one energy deal. Alongside that, oh, you also have like other matters you keep yourself busy in. So I've got some pro bono work in the evening, which I'll give you some updates on later on. And I'm also part of a training committee where we look at the strategy within a firm and how we can improve and do quite a bit of DI work within a firm too. So that's the main part of my day. A lot of it is actually on a corporate deals and transactions, a lot of it is actually matter management and progressing things. There's some legal work involved as well. The actual work, especially the pro bono, is very legal. That's all me led. And the strategy work, because again, there's more strategy, not legal. But um, thinking forward and connecting different teams and different trainees and different fee owners, associates, partners, etc. So yeah, my day is actually looking very full, like extremely, extremely full. This morning I need to get something rattled out, so I'm going to get it sorted and stop talking to you guys too much. Personally, I also have a personal to do this because the work from home, which is a godsend, so I've got some personal bits to do. Definitely need to go to the gym. As you know, I've went for a ride in the morning. I'm gonna to go to the gym in the evening. I actually joined a new gym. Um, so excited to see what that's like. Then some other little errands which aren't super interesting. But that's me, I'll keep you guys updated. This is the setup. I can't lie, my bed's there. I I made it so my mum doesn't turn me off. They're black bed sheets which are very rogue. So I know all of that. So all these all these comments I know, super rogue. This is my setup, I've got a couple of books there. My company law book's there, so don't go really thinking that that's my bedtime reading. It's just like, it's just out of the way. It's just there for now. But I probably actually use that during the day when I'm looking at like, board minutes or certain resolutions or certain articles of association. Anyways, that's me. I've been waffling. I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you, Tayshan, for that really comprehensive insight into what you do day to day in your teams. In terms of your desk setup, it's funny that you work in your bedroom. I actually have to work in a completely different room. I like to separate different zones in my house for different things. And I think now because I'm in a different room, my mum can't tell me off my bed not being done in the video. You can check out actually my desk setup via the link above. Now, for you guys, it's 9am for the both of us. The first thing that I like to do for the day, I know Taishan mentioned to-do lists. My to-do list is very much dependent on my inbox and what's in my emails for the day. Now, what I tend to do with my inbox straight away is if there are any emails that I can reply to within two minutes, I reply to straight away there and then. And if there are any emails that require further action that will take longer than two minutes, I put them into an action folder. And then you get those miscellaneous emails that you can just read through, but they don't really require a reply from you. And I put those in my general folder. Then what I do is I write my to-do list for the day and in my to-do list for the day I had quite a few things. I had a research note to do, I had to draft an email to another party updating them on how far we've gotten with the case so far. So quite a lot of drafting, quite a lot of researching. I also had a couple of calls today, a couple of meetings which I will show you guys about. With my to-do list I write everything in the order of what's most urgent first and I also write who the work is for for. Because I'm quite new to the team, I'm still getting used to who's assigned me work here and there. So it's nice to kind of keep in touch with, okay, this person has assigned me this work, so I contact her if I need any help or any if I have any problems. And then what I tend to do before I properly start off my work day is keep in touch with Commercial Awareness. I've subscribed to recent construction news articles, so they are sent automatically to my inbox every morning. This morning I was reading about a change in witness statements, specifically to do with witnesses themselves. So here the change that's happened is that the witness statement should be in the witnesses' own words and language, as the courts were having an issue about witnesses having no idea Idea what was even written in the witness statements as us lawyers being us lawyers we jazzed it up so much that they didn't even sound like them anymore so the witness statements didn't even sound like the witnesses anymore so that was what i was reading up on this morning Tayshan, over to you all right we're back in the lab it is 9 30 bang on i've just logged in i've written out my to-do list and what i tend to do in the morning is 
before I properly like set up my system, i.e. going to the VPN, I mentally have an idea of what I have in my head, then I write down my to-do list, and I write, I write down actually a work to-do list and a personal to-do list. And that's one of the most beautiful things about work from home is that you can do all your main work, plus all your little personal bits on the side. So I've done that, I'm now going to hit up the day. On the top of my to-do list today, at least for this morning, I actually send over a, bro a broken down billing guide for one of my clients who want it. They want a very specific task. They literally want us to work out who's, who's building most, what matter, every single week, week and week. So I need to prepare that. Um, a lot of other matter management with a couple of other deals. I've got around three or four other deals going on. And at the end of the day, I have a pro bono clinic online. So that's, that's like the end of the day. And also got some work that's going on. But I can give you a bit more detail, a bit more as I go through. But it should be a nice fulfilling day and very action packed, almost too action packed. Like I literally rode in the morning and I've got pro bono in gym in the evening. So I keep you guys updated. You know what's good. It's crazy how me and Taisha do have similar habits in terms of to-do lists, in terms of having a mental idea of what you want to do in the day. I also do personal to-do lists as well, but I change them every week instead of daily. So my 9.30 looks a lot different to Taishan's actually, and it's crazy to see the parallels in our days already. I actually start off with a team meeting at 9.30. I have team meetings every Monday morning and Tuesday morning. Monday morning is with the transactional side of the construction team, where we go around and we just tell the team what our capacity is like for the rest of the week. So capacity is like this legal kind of jargon word, which essentially just is about kind of asking or telling someone how available they are. So if you have capacity, you have availability to take on more tasks. If you don't have capacity, it's basically saying that you're quite busy and you don't have the time. Our team is also very national. So this meeting that I'm in today, like I mentioned, involves everyone on the transactional side of construction. And the tomorrow's meeting is about everyone who's in the dispute side, so the litigation element or the dispute resolution element of the construction team. So it's nice to be in a field of area of law where as a trainee you could be encountering both sides of the areas of law, so the contentious side and the advisory aspect as well. Now I've mentioned my team is very national, these meetings involve people, everyone from our offices in Newcastle to Southampton to obviously my office with the London team as well and I also get assigned work from people from other teams. So I've been working on a matter with a solicitor from Scotland I've been working on a matter from someone from Newcastle. It's nice to not be pigeonholed into your single office. So albeit my firm is known as a transatlantic firm, it does have a really strong national presence in that way as well. So after this team meeting ends, it's usually around half an hour long. It's now 10 a.m. in the morning and I start on my first task of the day that's on my to-do list. Now this task involves essentially finding specific letters in our case management system and checking emails that were sent from a specific party. So once I found all these letters and emails, I collate it all together into something that's called a chronology. So I have to essentially put all these letters, all these emails in the order that, that they were sent. So then the people in my team have a clear idea of what happened when and the events that followed each other. And then I had to draft an email to one of the parties updating them on what's happened based on all the emails and letters that I'd found. So straight away, I think this is kind of one of my biggest tasks that I had to do of the day. And of course it was the biggest one and also the most urgent. It's great to have received responsibility like this, if I'm really honest with you, because essentially then the onus is on me to update the rest of the team about what's happening with the case and where we're at. And that's quite a great big responsibility to have. So, and that puts a lot of incentive on my side to make sure that I do the work to the best that I can. And it really kind of challenges me, which I enjoy. So from 10 a.m. down to 11 a.m., this is essentially what I spend my time on. Update, it's around 11 o'clock. The morning has been morninging me, if that's even a term or a phrase. Um, this task, this billing task is getting to me. Try and stay patient. 
Um, still on time with deadline, so can't complain whatsoever. I'm probably gonna go for, just to stretch my legs and just run a quick errand or two, because I cannot come and kill myself. And I said before, that's the best part about working from home. So I'm gonna go run an errand. I don't know how to get on that task. Um, diary wise, let me see what my diary is saying. They should have no cool setup, so it's actually a nice, clear bed. Well, work, work for, but clear in terms of no one trying to take time from your diary to do any extra bits and bobs. So that's me. Been ticking along, been trying to do a couple of calculations, etc. Also, been trying to sort out some other admin bits with my flat, etc. That's me. Um, other work things to look out for has been pretty, pretty interesting. Is actually at work we're doing this. I think they call it a racial equity habit building challenge so essentially in our team i'm actually part of a like race and ethnicity committee which is the overarching dni team linked to race and race and race and ethnicity and we direct lots of policy for the firm going forward in terms of they do this do this build this both internally and externally what we're currently doing now is a series of internal comms where we raise issues linked to race, issues, linked to race and ethnicity, but across the globe, it's not just UK and it's not just like businessy. So, I did internal comms on like the Manga of Nine and like things we can learn from that going forward and what it means for society. And in England, I linked it to like the racial quality report, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I think it's a quality report. I think it's a racial equity report. Anyways, long story short, I'm part of that committee. That's one of my diary notes. Um, and we're doing a lot of cool work there. So actually, that's one thing to look out for. Like when you guys are working in law firms, it's not just a standard day to day. Cause like the standard day to day, you don't suspect it's gonna be transactions, but it's also these other things you can build up and hone your career on and focus on. So D&I representation text is something I'm really big on and I read a lot on and do a lot of work on in my spare time. So, when I provided with the opportunity at work to do the same, I grabbed it with both hands. It's absolutely fantastic that Taishan's involved with these committees at law firms. He's right, it's not just about the standard day-to-day -day work, but actually getting involved with DNI and pro bono too. I definitely want to get more involved from my end and it's something that it's definitely on my personal to-do list to do. Not only does it help in terms of personal fulfillment, but also helps in terms of creating a stamp in the firm. You end up meeting people that you wouldn't have met otherwise because they're outside of your teams. And it really helps in terms of building a positive reputation and building your own personal brand within the firm itself. So that's something that I've definitely learned from you, Taishan. It's definitely something that I intend to apply to the rest of my training contract here. Now, I think you guys have heard enough voiceovers from me. Let's actually hear from my thoughts of what I've gotten up to so far. So I've just finished the first task that I have to do for a client. It was a task that was split into three parts. So albeit on my to-do list, I'm only crossing off one thing, but I've technically done three things and it's 11.41 right now. So quite good, I guess. I think as a first time trainee, because you're just joining a seat, definitely do be prepared for the fact that you won't be able to do certain things really fast. Like you will be quite slow. It's taken me 48 minutes to find one email. It was very in a lot of emails though in my defense and it's taking me around 37 minutes to draft an email to another party uh, a first draft to another party so yeah these things do take time i think the main thing is is ensuring when you're just starting off is making sure the quality of your work is still there you're still you're still trying to do work to the best of your ability uh, rather than rushing through things, trying to get things done fast, I'd rather actually just take my time. Of course, making sure I'm still submitting it within the deadline that's been provided to me. I don't want to submit work late, uh, but just trying to keep that balance between creating good quality work and doing it in good time as well. And I'm going to have an early-ish lunch today as well, around 12.30. So... Yeah, and then at lunchtime I'm going to be filming, so that would be exciting as well. Now, I'm going to get started on my second task. I'll provide more detail on this later. But yeah, honestly, I've been glued to my desk since 9am. The reason for this is because I'm actually at my most productive between 9 and 12 p.m. After that, I do tend to see a bit of a slump in my productivity. So I do always try and get lots done before lunchtime. I do believe, however, Taishan is out for a break right now. Let's see what he's up to. Erin Drip, we'll take it. Look at that beautiful bike. My baby, my baby. 
All right, guys. Pardon any cars you here, but obviously I'm on the roadside. So as I said before, best part about work from home is that you can run a couple of errands here and there. I need ID for what I need to do. Let me go get my ID. One sec, one sec, one sec. All right, back again. Um, what's the last thing I said? Pretty sure I was like praising working from home. I love it. Anyways. I wonder what Simran does in her break. The highlight of my break time today, I'm afraid Taishan is drinking my smoothie. But back over to you. I feel like you're having a lot more fun than I am right now. I tend to like do all my life admin in my breaks, to be honest. Like, if I need to go to laundry, I do that. If I need to do shopping, I do that. If I need to cook, I do that. That's the way I sort of treat my breaks, I do that. And also like work out, that's my vibe. So it gives me my weekends like, fully to myself. I think it'd also be good to touch on how I found working from home and how I found working at a Magic Circle law firm. Long story short, that brother. Long story short, loved it, like properly, properly loved it. Um, learning's a bit harder because obviously you don't learn from osmosis, that's what I want to say, but it's true. So I'm probably not as good a lawyer or trainee as I would have been if I was working in the office. But the benefit of my health and my well-being is surpasses that, far surpasses that. So when we go back to the office, I won't be going back like five days a week if I have the option. I'll be doing maybe two to three days a week to have a bit more control on my life and my health. I completely agree with Taishan's opinion on working from home. It's really been great in terms of work-life balance, in terms of health, in terms of actually realising how much time is wasted in travelling and commuting, especially if you're living in London. But I also really agree and I think it's great that we're being honest on this aspect, but training while you're working from home is actually a lot more difficult than I ever anticipated it to be. The number of times I've heard, and I know Taishan's mentioned this as well, but the fact that we're not learning from osmosis, it's such a cliche term now and I've heard it so many times, but it is so true. Those conversations that you have in the kitchen with your workmates, the ability to just overhear conversations from partners or people that you're sharing the office with and like Taishan I can't wait for offices to open back up but I also do think I'll be going back on a more hybrid basis so going in a couple of days in the week but not every single day and by the way yes this is me getting out my LPC book another tip for you guys do hold on to your LPC books because a lot of people use them in practice I have been using my dispute resolution textbook to help me with certain terms in litigation that I had come across while studying the LPC but had since forgotten in detail. So yeah, definitely hold on to those textbooks. All right, back in the lab. Finished one of the admin tasks. As I said, I wanna know what Simran Jeet did in her task or in her breaks. Um, this task is killing me, bro. Let me just rattle through it. Gonna be good and be positive and all that malarkey. Try and get it done, but it's tedious. To say the least. Right, so as you can see here, we are both working extremely hard on these really tedious tasks. I know I mentioned I'll talk about this second task that I've got on now, and essentially what it's about is I am essentially updating a third party. In this case, that third party is an insurer of one of the clients that are involved, and I am essentially just letting them know where we're at with this case that we've got. And for this, I am using the firm's precedence file because they have templates essentially of how people have updated insurers in the past. I am using this template document and of course tailoring it and amending it. So I think firstly as well for those of you who may be starting your training contracts, definitely get familiar with where the firm's or the team's precedence folders are because they've really helped me out in terms of setting out a structure and basically knowing what the people in your team are expecting from you. Do you know what actually? Again, another question, not just for Simranji, but for you guys in general. When it comes to studying and working, what you guys bump into? So for me, when it comes to work, there's different vibes. If I'm doing a task where I don't have to think, I can play bangers, like, like bangers, rap, hip hop, reggae, dancehall, Afrobeats, whatever, I can proper vibes to that. But if I have to concentrate, I need to properly think, 
And that's when I tend to slap on the lo-fi, slap on instrumental, instrumental, slap on a bit of Kate Chinada. Sometimes Kate Chinada bangs too much. Long story short, if I'm doing a task where I need to think, there's more instrumental music going on in the background. Um, but because I obviously got you guys on, I'm not playing music right now, for copyright that monarchy. But yeah, what do you guys do? I wonder if Simranji captured any music in her vlog, day vlog, whatever. She may not have the copyright, but I'm pretty sure if she's at home, she's bang and sound really good. It's funny you say that because I'm always bumping to music when I'm working. And I think that's also another perk of working from home as sometimes in the office wearing earphones can seem a little bit unprofessional. I'm definitely taking full advantage of the fact that I am allowed to listen to music at home now when I'm working. So I've always got something playing and I'm going to take a little bit of a risk actually with the copyright malarkey. I listen to a bit of Punjabi music, uh, so Bhangra especially, when I am doing a task that doesn't need a lot of thought or a lot of thinking. Here's a little taster. And if YouTube picks this up as a copyright, you know what, it's my L, I'll take it. I also listen to a lot of grime, hip hop, R&B when I'm doing work that doesn't need concentration. I'm also the same as Taishan in terms of when I need to concentrate on work, I do listen to music that doesn't have words in, but it's completely different in terms of, I don't really listen to lo-fi instrumental music as such because I tend to listen to that when I'm actually relaxing, not working, and instead, Weirdly, I listen to house and drum and bass and yeah, it's really weird and it's probably my Bristol girl side coming through But I really love listening to that kind of music Especially when I need to concentrate and there's a tight deadline because I'll just feel on top of the world Just really typing away with this really pumping music in your ears as well it just makes you feel so superhuman so Really good question, Taishan. And for those of you watching, that is what we listen to when we are working. I'm trying to stay positive. That's the memo of the story of the day. When tech is killing you, and tech is letting you down, and the internet is slow, and all of that, stay positive. That was corny as hell. But I'm trying to get angry. If you saw me yesterday, my internet was just playing so many games. I was. Fuming. Fuming. Oh my god, this is actually not working now. God. Yeah, honestly, that is such a problem with me as well. It takes me so long. Like, our file management system, because some of the files are just so big, my internet connection just can't handle it. And it always ends up freezing when you need to click on a certain file. And it actually ends up taking even longer for you to do your tasks because of it. Now, internet stories over and done with. It's actually now time for lunch. And now I told you I'll be taking an early lunch today, hence why I didn't really take any breaks before. At lunchtime, it's really important for me to stay away from my desk. So I head downstairs and I'm having Shole Pature for lunch. All right, now is a perfect time to break slash have lunch, slash have breakfast. And one thing I didn't touch upon is actually like eating or drinking. So for context, what I do, I work out in the morning, as you guys already know, and I literally run off a bottle of water until around 1 p.m. every single day. And that's when I break my fast and have my breakfast. See what I did there? Anyways, long story short, so I don't eat until lunchtime. And I feel like for me, in the job I'm doing, I need to eat in tight windows, because otherwise, I'm more likely to put on weight. So try and like be a bit more controlled of how I eat and what I eat and the times I eat. So it's one o'clock, let's call this lunchtime slash midday. Head over to my channel for the part two slash afternoon slash evening of both our days. Comparing and contrasting of our evenings as well. You know what to do with them. I cannot believe Taishan goes through the whole morning without eating at all i couldn't do that at all now before we finish this vlog i just thought i'd give you an insight into my lunch time here you can see me filming another video during my lunch break this is one of the things where if you are working full-time and you are doing side passions you will find yourself having to manage things like this at the same time hey so i've just finished my lunch i finished filming one video and i just had the most amazing shole so 
now what's going to happen is this is the end of part one of the vlog from my channel what you want to do now is definitely head over to Taishan's channel which I've linked in the video description and in the comments below where you'll see part two to the rest of our days where we compare what we've been up to. From my side I know I've got a lot more tasks to do and if you want more of an insight into what a trainee solicitor does but also to compare how we both unwind, what times we perhaps finish work today, who knows, what we actually get up to in the evenings for more of an insight into that aspect, I would definitely recommend heading over to part two uh, for Tayshan's channel and his part two of our vlog where we compare our day. Thank you so much for watching. This collab has been so fun to do and Tayshan's been an absolute pleasure to work with on this one. See you all in the next video.